Tell me what you like about this record. Oh, um, this record holds the song that is my eternal BPM. Oh. Um, and it just completely aligns all my chakras and makes me feel good. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very tender. Here's a great. Tim? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Tell me what you think about this record. Oh. I got this record as a kid. I was 10 years old and it was like, I lived right by this punk rock record store and it was the only like band with a logo that was identifiable that we didn't know that was like a punk band and I got it too early and it fried all my circuits. And then when I went to grad school at 33, when I went back to school, I gave a presentation, you know, on like, this is the thing that defines everything I'm trying to do. Then when The Empty Bottle had a podcast during the pandemic, I was supposed to talk about it for five minutes and I went on for 40 minutes. So I'll stop myself there. Oh God. Okay, so this is one of the best soul compilations. It's all bedroom music and um, it was put together by some Chicago locals. Um, Do you think Seven? Who did that? Rob? Sabir? Rob helped with it. So our friend Rob, dear friend, uh, let's see, he helped do the research. Research? Um, Dante. Yeah. Right. And Dante put it together, and it's just incredible. Oh, right. And Seven put it out. Yeah. yeah. Jerry Green, the voice master. Um, I finally found the love I need, like, just as good as any Stevie Wonder track. Steve Elliott is amazing, so weird. Like there's just something slightly wrong with all of his songs. Yeah, I like that like they seem to be made with limited means. Gives them like the songs, makes it extra urgency. Yeah, and I listened to this when I first started making music in my bedroom as well. So I think it, you know, making stuff with 80s hardware drum machines and a four track. Tell me about this one. This record is incredible to DJ with pretty much any dance record ever. It will always be a win. Oh, uh, layering it, you mean? Layering it. Mm. Um, I don't know if it's obvious, but it is a choir of Bulgarian women uh singing their traditional chants yeah the complexity um harmonically rhythmically insane it's incredible to put it over an ambient record and dj it Ooh, right. just listen to it on its own i mean but it's it's great to mix and i always have it in my dj case Bye. Oh, um, uh, I think I, this is like the, you know, definition of ambient music where it's like background when you want it to be background, which is a crazy thing to say because it's so intense it's so intense i feel like it's a testament to the potential of human imagination all improvised i've listened to it a million times and it's different every time and it, it's so corny at moments but it is so wild would you say we listen to it more than any other record in it, at home it might be it might be like the sound of our home I could say that, yeah.